Well, hello there. What's up? Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy. If you are new here, that is who I am. Uh, I make videos about loving yourself, loving others, and loving the planet, as it were, just all around growing and being as a human being. So if any of that stuff interests you, make sure to hit subscribe. And I am talking to you. You. Hit subscribe. When I started my wellness journey probably like six years ago or so, Implementing a morning routine has been definitely the most important thing in my journey It's really what keeps my head screwed on and allows me to kind of go about my day as Best as I can and it's changed my life in more ways than I can ever explain So I thought it would be fun to share with you guys how I get going and how I get my day started And also just the different swaps that I've made in my life that have kind of impacted my morning routine because About three years ago. I began my transition to a lower plastic lower impact lifestyle. So I thought I'd share with you guys how that looks in my morning routine as well. Before we go too far, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by my friends at Earth Hero, which is this incredible online store where you can buy all kinds of sustainable goodies. And I happen to have been using a few products that they sell for years. And so all of those are going to be featured in this video and I'll chat about them in a little bit. I've also linked all the products that I do use in the description box, whether they're from Earth Hero or not. So that way it makes it super easy for you guys to make a lower impact, lower plastic transition in your life. So anyways, let's jump into the video. So of course, the first thing that I do is my alarm goes off at around seven o'clock. I used to get up a little bit earlier than I do now. I feel like I've gone through stages where I wake up really late or really early and I've kind of found this like happy middle ground with seven o'clock. A huge part of that is just because I have a significant other and so my schedule has kind of adapted to fit his schedule. So seven o'clock is what works really well for me. My alarm goes off then and truthfully, I'm definitely that person that the alarm goes off and it takes me a decent like 15 minutes to get out of bed or so and I feel like 15 minutes is like very generous with it probably takes me a little bit longer than that if I'm being honest but I'm gonna say 15 minutes to make myself feel a little bit better <laughs> but it's probably closer to like 20 minutes or so <laughs> when I get out of bed one of the first things that I do and something that I've been doing for years is I make sure to make my bed this is something that I love having in my morning routine because no matter where I am where I wake up whether it's at my own house at somebody else's house or if I'm on vacation I can always make the bed there's always gonna be a bed that I've slept in so having that small ritual in the morning is really really helpful because I kind of get this sense of accomplishment and I noticed that just having that small little win in the morning allowed me to kind of go forward throughout the day with with a better attitude because I felt somewhat accomplished right away. After that, I always try to drink some water. I'll either leave a water bottle by my bed or I'll run to the kitchen and grab a little glass of water. Just having a couple sips of it or as much as I can in that moment, I find really helps my digestion get going and is one of probably two times that I will drink water throughout the day. So making sure that I do it first thing kind of ensures that I get some hydration in my day. Then I'm off to brushing my teeth where I use a bamboo toothbrush and some tooth tabs. I made the switch to a bamboo toothbrush a few years ago and I've noticed that my teeth have reacted really well to it. I do still have an electric toothbrush that I use from time to time, but I do know that I was personally nervous about shifting from electric to just a regular toothbrush and it seems to have gone really well. And then I love these little tooth tabs. They're really simple and easy to use. You just chew them with your mouth and it basically eliminates the need for a plastic tube of toothpaste and it cuts down to just the core elements. So you're taking out the water, which reduces the amount of like CO2 and transportation space that your toothpaste requires in its journey to your house. <laughs> and then on the days that I remember, I also use my DIY mouthwash that you guys have seen in my mouthwash video. After that, a few times a week, I get ready and I go to the gym, so I'll put on some gym clothes, or on the days that I choose not to go to the gym, I'll also still put on some comfy clothes and do a little bit of stretching at home. I try to do some form of movement every single day, and having that kind of time to connect with my body is really, really special to me. I don't have any intense workout routines on the days that I do go to the gym, I kind of just walk on the Stairmaster or on the treadmill or something like that. I used to be really into lifting weights, but we'll see. I've been out of rotation with that for a while. I'd like to build it back into my life, but for right now, I just enjoy walking 
and moving my body in that fashion. And then on the days that I don't go to the gym, like I just said, on days like today, I will just stretch while I'm at home. I will say when I filmed this B-roll, cause a lot of this is reenactment because my morning routine is very, very, very sacred to me. So I didn't really want to kind of break that up with using my camera at all. So I did try to reenact my morning routine and I didn't put a hair tie in my hair, but if I did, I would have used a Kushu hair tie. They're biodegradable hair ties. And I just got my first pack of them and I'm super excited about them so if you're somebody who uses hair ties and you want a more sustainable option they might be a choice for you <laughs> and then after that I usually jump in the shower where you guys have seen my regular hair care routine but did you say you're curious or you're curious about the new shampoo and conditioner that I'm using well have no fear cuz I'm gonna tell you about it. You guys know I'm always trying out different shampoo bars and things. And so right now I'm giving the Bestowed Essentials Aloe and Tea Tree Shampoo Bar and the High Bar Moisturizing Conditioner Bar a go. And I'm super pumped on these because both of them are from today's sponsor, Earth Hero. So for those of you who don't know, Earth Hero is kind of like your online destination for sustainable shopping. They have more than a hundred brands. All of them are sustainably and ethically sourced. They even have an entire section of their website dedicated just to zero waste living. And whatever intentional shopping preference that you might have, you can easily filter products by what's important to you. So whether that's responsibly made, uses renewable resources, organic, cruelty-free, upcycled, vegan or plastic-free, low waste, whatever it is that you're shopping for, you can do it at Earth Hero. It really is just like the online mecca for anything sustainable and anything low waste living. They have a huge selection of brands, like I said, more than 110 of them and tons of goodies. I also, one of my absolute favorite products right now is this well-kept nourishing oil. I love this. Most body oils I feel like take forever to sink in, but not this stuff. You put it on and it almost feels like a dry oil and then within literally minutes, it's sunken into your body and you don't have to go around feeling like this like oily mess all day. <laughs> I genuinely could not recommend this body oil more. And they have all kinds of goodies ranging from beauty, hair care, makeup, they have house cleaning stuff. I recently got a brand new huge block of dish soap from them. So they really do have a big range of stuff on their website. And they're just all around a really cool company. I've spoken to the founder and I've met a couple of folks over there and they really genuinely care and are advocating for more sustainable products and more sustainable shipping and manufacturing. So if you wanna check out Earth Hero, I've left a link in the description box. And you can also shop through my code to have a discount on your full order as well. Once I'm out of the shower, you guys know, if you've seen my hair care routine, I usually scrunch my hair with a little bit of flaxseed gel and and then I put my clothes on for the day, I put my daily jewelry on, and I run to the kitchen and I make breakfast. One of my favorite things about the morning is I always listen to a podcast while I'm making breakfast, and it's usually The Daily, which is a podcast from the New York Times. I like to listen to some sort of news-related podcast first thing in the morning. It kind of makes me feel, I don't know, like I'm getting some news information in and is one of my favorite ways to start the day. So The Daily has been one that I've really enjoyed listening to as of late, and I'll just leave my phone out on the windowsill or in a corner by a wall that kind of amplifies the sound a little bit so I don't need a speaker. And it's just a wonderful way to kind of remain informed and even though it's a small snippet of news, I don't have a TV so that's kind of how I get it. So I'll make myself a breakfast. I'm usually either having a green smoothie and a bowl of oats or just a really big bowl of oats. I really like green smoothies in the morning even though this morning I didn't happen to have one because I ran out of greens. If I don't have a green smoothie in the morning, honestly that's probably the only time that I'm getting anything green in in the day so I, I just mm. Yeah. And then also around this time is, you guys know, I'm a huge fan of aloe, so I usually just take a snippet of aloe out of the fridge and I put it all over my face before I put anything else on my face that day. Using fresh aloe is something that I absolutely adore doing. It's so healing and my skin has reacted to it really, really well. If I'm honest, it's kind of like my saving grace. It's my holy grail, it's my favorite thing, and I can't live without it. I usually just buy a big leaf of it at my local grocery store. And then once I'm done breakfast, I will run 
run to the bathroom, I'll quickly rinse off the aloe from my face. And at that point, I will put on my face lotion. This morning, I used Stevie Ye, who's from Instagram. She's a fellow low waist Instagrammer. She makes this face lotion. I also love the Meow Meow Tweet face cream. I'll put a small little dollop of that on my face. And then if you watch my makeup routine video, then you know that my favorite brow gel is just using glycerin soap, like a bar of vegetable glycerin soap. So I basically, what I've done is I've taken a little snippet of a bar of bulk vegetable glycerin soap that I found package free and I melted it down into this small little stainless steel tin just so that it's easier to bring around rather than bringing around a bar of soap. And I've taken an old spoolie that I actually was sent in the mail when I ordered a low waist mascara a few years ago. So I've cleaned off that spoolie and I've bent it and I just will put a little bit of the soap on that and then brush it through my brows just to kind of wake them up wake up my face and I feel like that in conjunction with the moisturizer really just kind of, yeah, wakes me up for the day and yeah. <laughs> After that, I'm jumping into work. So I sit down, I grab a warm beverage. I really like making tea or coffee in the morning or some mornings like this morning, I'll make a little bit of an adaptogenic elixir. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love my adaptogens. And so this morning I made a little cup of Lion's Mane tea. And then once I have my warm beverage, I will sit down and the first thing that I always do, and this is a newer addition to my morning routine, but it's something that I've really, really come to love is I always sit down and read an article before I jump into my work. This is something that I started doing because I'm one of those people who has a million tabs open at once and I just kind of started to accumulate so many articles and things that I wanted to read but I never would. So now I always check off one of those things before I start my day. I have a membership to this website called Medium which is really great because it's kind of like the Instagram for bloggers. Like it's just a place that has a lot of people's different articles articles and things that they've written and just things that I can learn on there. So I get emails from them every day and I'll just pick an article that sounds interesting to me and I will read it. And then my day is begun and I will jump into my work. It really depends on what I'm doing that day because I kind of am somebody who does work literally all over the place, whether it's filming a video, editing a video, doing a podcast, running to meetings, doing graphic design stuff, whatever it might be. I'm now ready to start my day and I jump into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my morning routine video. Video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of it. Definitely check out Earth Hero. They genuinely are such a cool, ethical, and sustainable company, and I highly recommend it if you are trying to make more sustainable swaps in your life. Again, Earth Hero and my discount code are linked in the description box of this video. I also have a link in the description box of all of my favorite products that are on Earth Hero's website, so if you want to check that out, it's in the description box. And before you jump out of this video, don't forget that you can sign up for my email newsletter. You can subscribe to my podcast you can subscribe to this youtube channel follow me on instagram and of course you can support me on patreon for as little as a dollar a month where you get access to my facebook group all of my videos and podcasts before they go live to the public and of course my secret vlogs that go up exclusively over there that's it for me i will talk to you guys in the next video i hope you're all doing swell remember to stay happy humble and forever compassionate and i love you guys so so much bye